Hello everyone, this is Anuj from Chemical Engineering Concepts and we shall continue our series on Solution Thermodynamics. In this series, we shall discuss the questions based on the Solution Thermodynamics, the different uh, factors to be determined, right? So uh, today we shall discuss some problems that are based on the determination of fugacity, fugacity coefficients and uh, a problem is based on the mixing volume, right? So let's start off with our topic. This is our. So this is our problem number one for the day. The problem says that we have to estimate the fugacity of ammonia, which obeys the equation of state. Okay. So this is the equation of state that you can see here. P V minus B is equal to R T, right? And we have to determine the fugacity at 10 bar and 298 kelvins. You are given with the uh, constant V, the value of constant B, that is 3.707 into 10 raised to power minus 5 meter cubes per mole. Right. So uh, you can pause the video here and uh, try to solve it on your own. Right. If you are preparing for any competitive exam or your semester exam as well, okay. So this will be a very good uh, practice problem for you. Right. So uh, uh, now let's see the solution how you can approach this type of problem uh, to get the solution right so guys uh, first of all we are given with the um, equation right the equation of state that is given by p v minus b is equal to r t right this is the equation of state that is given to us now we can rearrange the equation in the following manner that you can see here right uh, we can introduce the factor of Z here Z you know that is the compressibility factor, right? So P V minus P B is equal to R T, right? You can also write because we know the value of Z, okay? Z we know how you can write this P V upon R T is Z, right? And that is the compressibility factor, right? So guys uh, the value the value of Z here becomes 1 plus P B over R T, right? So this way we can write the equation. This way we can write the equation. And uh, for determination of fugacity, uh, I need you guys to remember this important relationships, right? This important relationship that I'm writing here, ln F upon P is equal to ln of phi, that is the fugacity coefficient is equal to 0 to P Z minus 1 sorry it will be Z minus 1 over P multiplied by DP right so this is an important relationship I hope the, uh, all the students must know this relationship this is a very commonly used relationship right so what you can do here what you can do here you can uh, replace Z minus 1 over P is equal to B upon RT, right? In this equation, in this equation here, right? So when we do that, when we do the equation that I am getting up is 0 to P B over RT DP, right? And when you different, when you integrate the equation in the manner given up here, it becomes P B over RT. Right, so you can you have got your fugacity coefficient, right? You have got your fugacity coefficient as P B upon R T, right? Now you have to uh, do nothing but just you have to substitute the values, guys. The pressure is given to you as 10, right? The pressure is given to you as 10 bar. The temperature is given to you as 298 kelvins, right? And you just need to substitute the values and you will get the answer of F, right? The fugacity value that you are getting, that I am getting here, right? So the value will come up to be 10.151, right? The units have to be bar because the pressure is given up in the units of bar, right? So I hope this problem is uh, understood to you, okay? So after this problem, let's move to our next problem for the day, that is this. So guys, the problem says that we have to find the fugacity coefficient now at three different pressures. If the gas that is being used here follows this equation, right? So PV is equal to RT1 minus 0.00513B, 
right p is in p is the pressure which is given in bars right so we have to uh, find out the fugacity coefficient now at three different pressures right so the the method that you can use here on your own okay so you can pause the video here also and uh, try to solve the problem on your own right by by the time uh, those who are not able to solve the problem can see the solution okay so the solution comes up here so guys we know that at constant pressure or uh, sorry at constant temperature at constant temperature the equation for dg that is the change in the gibbs free energy is given up as vdp right it is given up by vdp and because uh, uh, since the temperature is constant the term of minus sdt will be zero right and also also we know another uh, equation for dg that is the rt d ln of f right so both these equations can be equated i hope you are getting my point here rt d ln f is equal to vdp right and uh, here we can replace the value of v right the equation of v will come up from our main equation of state that is given to you in the problem itself right 1 minus 0.00513p right so this equation is given to you this equation is given to us and you just need to substitute the value of v here right so v becomes this so i am just going to replace the value of v so it will be rt 1 upon p minus 0.00513 three times of dp right so this becomes my equation now you just need to solve here okay we just need to have a little bit simplifications right which will give us our solution so rt will cancel out from the right hand side and the left hand side right so my equation my equation becomes right uh, when you multiply this dp in this 1 upon p it will become uh, sorry it will become uh, dln of uh, p right so you can get this dln of p here on the left hand side and on the left hand side i am only left with this f upon p okay and we know this f upon p is simply the fugacity coefficient right so on the right hand side i am left with only one term that is 0.00513 times of dp right and let's simplify it furthermore let's simplify it furthermore my equation becomes ln of phi is equal to minus of 0.00513 times of uh, this p which we can integrate which we can integrate right and finally my equation becomes minus of 0.00513 times of p right so i hope this problem is clear to each one of you uh, so you just need to have uh, the different values of pressure right and from here if i am having see i'm just giving you the final terms final answer of this problem this is very simple right you just need to substitute the pressure and take the log term on the right hand side it will become exponential term right and it will give you the value of the fugacity coefficient right so the fugacity coefficient when the pressure is 1 bar is calculated as 0.995 when the figure when the pressure is 5 bar the value of fugacity coefficient becomes 0.975 and when the fugacity when the uh, when the pressure is 10 bar guys when the pressure is 10 bar the fugacity coefficient is going to reduce even further that is 0.950 right so you can see here you can see here fugacity coefficient is the ratio of f upon p simply and when you can see when the when the pressure is getting uh, increased the value of a fugacity coefficient is going to decrease which is obvious uh, from the equation right so let's uh, move on to our next problem for the day which is this 
So the problem says that at 300 Kelvin and one bar of pressure, the volumetric data for a liquid benzene for a, mix, for a liquid mixture of benzene and cyclohexane is represented as this, right? So we are given with the value of the volume. Okay, the expression for the volume is given up where X here is the mole fraction of benzene basically, right? So it won't be uh, it won't be bad if you write it like X1 right if one is denoting the component one that is uh, benzene and the component two is cyclohexane right the volume uh, since it is the molar volume right the uh, the unit will be meter cube per moles right and we have to find out the volume change of mixing for the pure benzene right so when we talk about the pure benzene when we talk about any of the pure substance the uh, the mole fraction of that component is going to uh, uh, be reaching one right so this is a condition which we need to remember when we will be calculating when we'll be reaching the final solution right so let's first discuss what do you mean by the volume change of mixing right and then we'll see that which terms are being required and then we will substitute them right so first let's let's uh, look at what do you mean by the volume change of mixing right so when i'm talking about the change of volume after mixing right so it will be having the final volume of the mixture minus the initial volume of the components right so the final volume i hope you know that it will be composed of the partial molar volumes right so it will have partial molar volumes of both the components that is uh, benzene and cyclohexane right so uh, it won't be wrong if i write it like this v right v will be denoting the final volume and minus the initial volume see the initial volumes will have the individual components right so when i'm talking about individual component i need to write this in this form v1 x1 plus x2 v2 right so this is the one which is there with you right if i talk about the this v this v will be denoted by x1 v1 bar plus x2 v2 bar i hope you are following me on this now you can see here i need to know the volumes both the volumes volume 1 and volume 2 and if i talk about the uh, x values we are given that x1 is going to be uh, here uh, 1 and x2 is going to be 0 in the final solution right which we have we need to find out right so guys first let's focus to find out the partial molar volumes that is v1 bar and v2 bar right so uh, i hope you know the formulas for that you know how you can determine the partial molar volumes for the from the given volume expression right so volume expression is given to you that is a uh, 109.4 into 10 is to power minus 6 minus 16.8 into 10 to power minus 6 x minus 2.64 into 10 to power minus 6 x square right so this is the volumetric data volume expression which is given to you uh, you can find out the partial molar volume for component 1 using the formula as follows v plus 1 minus x2 times of del v over del x1 right so this is the formula which we use when we have to have the this uh, differential of volume with respect to x1 so jab hum guys x1 ke respect mein differentiate karte hain volume expression ko tab hum ye wala formula use karte hain right and using the same formula uh, same type of expression i can also find v2 bar the formula for v2 bar will be v minus of x1 del v over del x1 right i know i hope you know the formula still i'm just reminding you the way you can use it right so when i'm talking about let me just take a different section for that so del m over del x1 when you have differential of the uh, molar property partial molar property with respect to x1 you use this formula 1 plus 2 and 2 minus 1 what do you mean by that it means see since you can relate to here with these expressions please relate to here 
so uh, when we have this del m over del x1 it will be written as z1 plus z1 is equal to v plus of so this is the plus of this is 1 minus x1 right or or it could be written as x2 as well right so it will be 2 times of the differential of v with respect to x1 i hope you are following me on this i hope aap samajh pa rahe ho jab hum baat karenge v2 bar ki so v2 bar will be nothing but v minus of this x1 so this is the one which denotes here right multiplied by the uh, differential of v with respect to x1 guys i hope you have followed me on this abhi jab hum guys del m over del x2 ki value likhte hain the uh, the how, how you can remember it so it will be nothing but 1 minus 2 upon 1 minus 2 and for finding out the m2 bar it will be nothing but 2 plus 1 right so this is the way how you find out the partial molar volumes right so guys you can substitute the values here i don't need to remind you uh, the calculations because you need to do the calculations you have to practice the questions right the value of uh, v1 bar that you will be getting up after using these formulas these equation i am just writing the final terms that is 92.6 into 10 raised to power minus 6 minus 5.28 into 10 raised to power minus 6 times of x1 plus 2.64 into 10 raised to power minus 6 x1 square right so this is the v1 bar expression and v2 bar expression will come up to be 109.4 into 10 to the power minus 6 you can just check your answers from what i am writing up here right so it will be a recheck for you if you have done the question you have done the answer as right or wrong okay so v1 bar we have got v2 bar we have got one important thing is uh, this that i am telling you here so it will be this so guys if you want to find v1 so v1 will be equal to v at x1 is equal to 1 and yes v2 will be equal to v at x1 is equal to 0 ye to aap sabhi ko i hope samajh mein aata hi hoga because humko poocha gaya hai uh, uh, volume change of mixing for pure benzene right so pure benzene means the component one that is x1 is going to reach one right so guys agar in formulas ka in equations ka hum use karte hain by substituting x1 is equal to one and x1 is equal to two for v1 and v2 respectively so guys yahan se mujhe jo values milti hain the value of v1 that i will get is this v1 is equal to 89.96 into 10 raised to power minus 6 meter cube per mole right and the value of v2 that i will get is 109.4 into 10 raised to power minus 6 so guys v1 bar a gaya v2 bar a gaya v1 or v2 a gaya now you can substitute the values right now we can substitute the values right uh, let's substitute the values in the following form that i am using here right xi times of vi bar minus vi right so this is the form in which we can substitute right the final terms that will be here x1 times of v1 bar minus v1 plus x2 times of v2 bar minus v2 right so this is the way we have written it let's substitute the values you just need to substitute the values or guys aapko x2 pe yaha par kya push, put karna hai x2 is going to be zero right x2 is going to be zero here and uh, uh, we can get the value we can get the value of delta v okay so just need to substitute it and you will get the answer you will get the answer guys uh, 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 so this these were the three questions that i wanted to discuss with you i'll come up with more and more number of questions uh, in the upcoming videos so uh, what you have to do to catch up all those videos you just need to subscribe my channel you need to subscribe my channel and hit the bell icon so that you never miss any update on our coming channels okay on our come upcoming videos thank you all for watching the video i'll meet you in the next video till then goodbye